Woo! Woo! Yes, Woo! sir. Happy Funday Friday, everybody. We got a good one for Sergeant. We got a great one for you. Make sure you stick around because, again, as always, we've got a winner to announce and we're giving away something. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have made it through the week. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're yep. proud of you. It's Academy Week. Woo. Man, so we've got a huge crowd around us right now. Yeah. Um, uh, but we need you to smash that share button to start the show out. We got a quick one for you. We got to get right to it because we got to get back to our Academy members. But we'll give you three seconds to smash it. Three, three. two, one. Smash, smash it. it. Greg, what you got going on? All right, we're going to get right into this breakfast strata. And this is a great thing for a Sunday breakfast with Saturday leftovers. You heard that right. We've got some canned biscuits. You can use your favorite biscuits. Um, but maybe you cooked a big breakfast on Shoot, Saturday. Yeah. This is Always. a way to use up like a little bit of leftovers. So we've got some sausage, some bacon, some biscuits. We're going to use that non-stick mat available at Rectech.com. We've got the flagship behind me, fired up to 325 degrees. John, would you get that lid for me, please? Yeah, always. Here's what's cool about this. We can go ahead and take that, all that food right there. Boom, one piece. Don't look over there. It's not important. It's not important. 325, like 35, 40 minutes. That bacon's going to be good. That sausage is good. The biscuits is going to be delicious. Okay? And like um, I said, it's leftovers. Yeah. Could be any easier. That's right? what we're okay. doing. That's what we're doing. Now, there's not often leftovers around here, right? Because we tend no, to eat a lot of never. food. But we got some bacon, sausage, biscuits. We're going to take some, some huevos here, a little, a little egg action. I probably should have cracked these ahead of time. Georgia, South Carolina, Texas, Florida, Oregon. Oregon. Cheese Oregon. and crackers. What's up, Oregon? In the house. Everybody on Facebook and YouTube, shout out. You know, I've seen a lot of people from Alaska join us lately, which is actually pretty cool because uh, right now we're actually shipping to Hawaii and Alaska. I, That's I right. That new news. I At love this it. moment. Mm -hmm. Big, big news. But big news, uh, we've also got 20% off That's starter right. bundles. The starter bundle consists of 40 pounds of the ultimate blend mm. pellets. You get one bag each of the mesquite, cherry, and apple. Yes. You also get one of those mats that Greg's using. Let's go. Uh, rub and sauce bundle, and then your cover for your grill. So the starter bundle goes with the grill. Those are 20% off right now at Rectech.com. Let's take Shoot advantage. You. Let's take advantage. All right, so we got the eggs. We got some milk. Yum. And you're just going to whisk that up with a little bit of heifer dust. And this is kind of like a quiche batter, right? So oh, six okay. eggs for a cup of milk is the perfect quiche. We're going to leave that right there because we're going to, that's my secret. I know. Oh. He was about to take it away just from trying, me. trying to take it away. I appreciate the... Uh, Lots of good questions out there. Keep the questions coming, everybody. Put them in the comment section down below. And of course, let us let us know where you're watching from. Yeah. Cheese and crackers. We love it. We love Can't it. even get it out. Get it out, buddy. All huh. right, so we got the biscuits. Now, these are like whoa, leftover, whoa. leftover Craig, what biscuits. Are, what are you doing, dude? Biscuits. Did I say briscuits? Biscuits. <laughs> no, you're, 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 in the you're ruining that thing. No, we're not. No. At all. So we're going to take old biscuits. It's okay, especially if you tell the kids to put them away and they don't. <laughs> right. That's really how I started making this because, love you biscuits. know, tell the kids to do something that, you know, they do the exact opposite, right? So you're going to crush up these biscuits in here, okay? And this is going to soak up some of that egg sugu, right? So that right. sugu is that Italian for sauce, all that egg juicy deliciousness, mm -hmm. okay? And it's going to look like it's not going to work, trust me, okay? I would not steer you wrong. Same thing with the sausage. You can cut it up, you can rip it up. It's really up to you. We're just gonna Love take it. these with our little paring knife and kind of just give it a little chop ski here. And again, give us the time and tempo on those. We'll go uh, 325, about 35, 40 minutes or so on the sausages. But this casserole, we're actually gonna make ahead of time. You can make this the night before, stick it in the fridge, toss it in the grill in the morning. Mm. And uh, like 40 minutes later at 325, you look like an absolute king I bet. when it yeah. comes to That's what out. I'm talking about. Yeah, so it, think of it like a baked, omelet right so right. you can put in here whatever you want so we're doing a lot of sausage it's a great way you can use up some leftover smoked brisket and even. greg you're using the uh flagship right good you, question here in the comment section they were asking what your favorite uh feature of the flagship was so i really love the new leg construction i find it really robust but quite great frankly questions. a, a lot of new oh, technology went into the controller as far as design and layout and i think it looks really clean so for me i'm a fan of that love it all right, appreciate the assistance here. So now all you're gonna do is take your little spatula oh, that's what here, I'm talking right? about. I can and eat that with a spoon right here. And you're just gonna mix it up. And it's gonna look like it's not gonna work. Trust me, okay? This needs to sit in the fridge overnight because it's gonna hydrate all that uh, biscuit deliciousness. I keep wanting to say briskets. We're cooking briskets today at Academy. So I always wanna say briskets, but biscuits, 
Okay. <laughs> and again, today, uh, Chef Greg is using those limited edition Texas blend pellets available you know at rectech.com. That's right. What are uh, the uh, Texas blend pellets, Chef John? Is it not a blend of that mesquite and that pecan? Oh, so good. Stuff. good. Love it. Love it. So good. Mesquite and pecan. Mm -hmm. Man. That's and those woods are native to the land of Texas. That's right. That's right. Those, they actually grow out there. I think specifically they plant those trees out there. They don't there. have too many oak trees no, out there. No, not a lot of you know, Not a lot of maple trees. Not a lot of maple trees out you there. Know, they got the mesquite and a <laughs> pecan. Speaking of Texas, shout out Bullhorn Barbecue. Robin Dana Rocha joining us for Academy this weekend all the way from Texas. Yep. All right, so here's, here's They're in the comment too. section down Are below. I see them. Yet, Chef no, Come I'm on, not. let's go, baby. Okay, so we, we use a lot of casserole dishes at the house. And okay. My wife hates when I put the casserole directly in the grate because I don't clean my grills really good. I personally hate that too. Right? So what I do is I take a little of that butcher paper and I fold it up and I use this underneath my casserole. Oh, that way nice I don't kind of like mess up the bottom of my casserole. I love it. I love that. Just yeah. like that. She's a cracker. So John, if you can grab that lid for me, we'll do a little trade ski. We'll slide this on here just like that and I'll pull this one off. And you can see after about 40 minutes how delicious that looks. Right? And here's Man. my cheat because now that bottom of that casserole dish is nice and clean. Now this is going to stay hot for a super long time. So if the kids are sleeping in or you got something to do, you could definitely uh, you know, let this rest on the counter and then scoop it out. Maybe a little sour cream action in there with yeah, some jalapeno it. ranch. Delicious. How would you store it, Chef Greg, if you cooked it the day before? Uh, you can definitely reheat it uh, the next day. Normally I would make it raw, put it in the fridge, bake it in the morning, um, but ah. let it cool down. Um, this is also a great hack if you want to do breakfast bites. So you can use those silicon uh, muffin uh, tins, muffin cup things. Okay. Make small ones, cook them on Sunday, pop them in the microwave for like 45 seconds. It's a great out the door snack for the kids for school. Yeah. And that just looks good. So good. Shoot, cheese yeah. crackers. All right, Shoot bring it home, John. All right. Well, mine's not going to take as long as Chef Greg's. Today, hey, now. I'm going to be doing an <laughs> awesome casserole. It was trending on the internet. Yeah. So you guys, we just typed in trending casseroles. This is the first one to pop up. It was the cowboy casserole, yeah, Jody. I love it. We just happened to have a cowboy rub. We did. And a cowboy sauce That's available right. at rectech.com. And then to go with that Texas blend. Oh, my perfect. gosh. It's perfect. It's, right, it's perfect. It's, it just lined up. It lined right Harmony. up. So today, guys, I'm cooking on the dual fire, right? So I'm going to be cooking mm. on the indirect side. I've got it set to 400 degrees. And uh, we let this thing preheat, so it's good to go. So we got about two pounds of ground Wagyu brisket and chuck mixed together. So good, good right? Easy. We went ahead and cooked that off. Then I got some bacon. Now I've seasoned both of these with that uh, roasted uh, garlic honey seasoning. Ooh. Stuff garlic is so good. Baby. And that cowboy rub. Cowboy's choice. That's it. So good. Available at rectech.com. Right. So now we got a little bit of cream of mushroom soup. Oh, Boom. Yes. Any no. casserole, cream of mushroom soup in it. You know it's going to be Gosh, dynamite. it just brings me back home. That's right. My mom, all she used to cook was stuff with cream of mushroom soup in it. The most mm. underutilized cream of soup, the cream of jalapeno. Oh, okay. That is like, like that. super secret for like mac and cheese and things like that. Great way to add some flavor in there. And then uh, this was actually the cream of mushroom with garlic. Ooh. Ooh, extra fancy. Kicking it up. All right, so I got the cheese in there. I've got the seasoning in there. We're going to go ahead and mix all this around. And if you right. wanted to, you can get some of the uh, corn that has the veggies in it. You could add peppers. That's right. You could do whatever That's you right. like. Thank you, Chef. Jalapenos. Right. All right, so I'm going to hit it with a little bit of milk. Texas, Florida, Carolinas. A lot of folks from the Carolinas today. There Shout out. Now, is that Texas milk? That is Texas milk. Yep. What is what is that uh, store that came uh, from Longhorn Cow? H E B. Uh, yeah, H E B. Came from H E B in Texas. That's right. Uh, so yes, definitely. Uh, but you could guys could sub out skim milk for all you guys that. No, are, no. You, you, maybe you maybe could. heavy cream. Heavy cream's the way to Do go. Do we look then, like skim milk kind of people? Hey, but if they're looking heart friendly, Chef Greg, I'm just okay. trying to give them a heart there friendly. There is nothing substance. about that that says heart healthy. <laughs> well, the cheese is from Wisconsin. That's Shout right. Shout out Jeff and Julie Stout. Uh, they brought it all the way from Wisconsin. That's right. So it's the most healthiest cheese you can get. That's right. It. There you go. Best cheese of the country right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, nonstick spray, nine by 13 baking dish. Couldn't be any easier. We're gonna go ahead and pour it in. And you doubled the recipe that's available at rectech.com. Right. I want to mention that. That's right. Um, that is Well, because I know great. we have some hungry people here at Academy and this cowboy casserole is going to slay today. I could already tell. There you already tell. All right, so just when you think you're done though, right? All right. Oh wait, there's more. Oh wait. There is more, Chef Greg. We're going to get some tater tots. Ooh, These I are like going to be frozen? It. Frozen. Definitely got to get them frozen. And we're just going to line them up, guys. Right? I just dump them on there. Just, just want to dump them on yeah, there? Yeah, just dump them on there, big guy. That's going to take way too long. Yeah, you're right. You're 100% right. Well, I, know, I didn't have, like, rectified this recipe. I would love, like, the fried jalapenos. 
Ooh. you know, underneath the tater tots. That would be, be a good, good, good addition. Well, you could also throw some cheese at the bottom, Ooh, some yeah. cheese at the top yep. uh, as well. But uh, Chef John definitely underutilized our cheese today. Well, I would like to get that cheese mixed so it's nice and gooey in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit more cowboy on top. Ooh. Right? Yum. A little bit more of the garlic honey. Yes, sir. And then it's going to go into the grill. I had this one's closed, buddy. Oh, yeah, well, that's all my fault. We do and then not... we're going to go into the grill. 400 degrees, 45 minutes. This thing's going to be absolutely perfect. Jody, you'll hit me a little, little bit, a little bit of that love. Thanks, big guy. I appreciate it. Over the shoulder for good luck. Jeff, Greg, you grab that door Let's for me. Let's go, buddy. Now we're going on the indirect side of the dual fire, guys. 400 degrees. We're going to slide it right in. You guys can see I already have one done. Look at the bubbly bubbly right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy off. Look how those tater tots got nice and golden brown. They actually reassign uh, themselves at the, in the grill, yeah, right? It's gonna get organized. That's right. Wow. Yeah. So look how new, new feature, rectech.com. It's gonna make it, make it prettier when it comes <laughs> But All right, while simple. that cools down, yeah. we got a winner to announce. Okay, do your Come thing. on over here, everybody. Uh, this person did everything that we asked of them. They asked a great question. And the question is, what is the best product to use to keep the stainless looking good on any of your grills. Well, I know the answer to that. And that's that Rectech cleaner available at Rectech.com. Mm -hmm. That's going to keep that stainless as well as the powder coating on your lid nice and shiny and clean and, and as amazing as new. Um, and again, that cleaner will come with a scoring pad. Make sure you score with the grain of your metal and it'll keep it looking absolutely beautiful. But great question, Hunter Hodges. Hey, Hunter! Shout out Hunter, we appreciate yeah. you watching, buddy. Um, great question, he is the winner of a thumb grinder. Nice. A I set of thumb grinders. All you got to do is DM the Rectech Facebook page. We will confirm that it is you, Hunter, and we'll get that headed out there to you. Now, again, we got to spin that wheel of Rectech. I think I spun it last week. Okay, Greg, you're Greg, up. Greg, you oh, spun it. Okay. Wait. All right. Well, there's only a couple rules to the wheel of Rectech. Right. You got to spin it clockwise with the utmost confidence. So, Chef oh. John, count it down for me. Three, two, one. All right, so if you guys want to win whatever this lands on, all you got to do is share this video, like this video, and comment down below. Hashtag. Cowboy choice. Oh! oh! You're gonna win a Rectech Academy oh, hat. That was close. I really thought we were giving away a bullseye. Shout out. But the winner, all you do is uh, love this video, share this video, hashtag Cowboy's Choice. I love and it. And you can win an Academy hat. I love it. <laughs> yeah, good time. Exclusive. That Can't was super exciting. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. like it. But mm -hmm. shout out to everybody on YouTube watching. We see you out there. We, we thank you so much. And shout out everybody on Facebook. Yeah. But guys, these are technically two casseroles. Yes, sir. You knocked out of the park using brand new grills available at Rectech.com right yes, now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, Chef Greg, is yours cool enough to taste? I mean, I know John's is kind of molten. It's nuclear no, right I now. Think you want to go ahead and present? Yeah, let's present, baby. So, see, you're going to scoop this out. These are like the absolute worst plastic spoons. Can we use the forks that we got? Yeah, so we'll, okay. Okay. Ooh, we'll, we'll ooh, use the fork ooh. to dish it out. But you can see we sprayed that dish, makes it super simple. We'll give Chef John the big bite. Thanks, Chef Greg. I appreciate it. And you. my favorite part, I'll give you that one. My favorite part of these casseroles is always like the crispy bits on the side. Like I'm the crazy person that eats the lasagna and I want like the, the crusty cheese on the oh, side. Yeah. Like that's my, whatever, we need to like coin and trademark the word that describes mm. that. It's nuclear, but it's really good. So good. Well, I can see some, some white gravy being thrown on mm. top. Mm. A little, little syrup. I can see some maple syrup. syrup. Be, or, I, can, I can see like a waffle, this on top, gravy, syrup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put me to bed. I want to go eat where you're eating that. That's good. <laughs> like you don't. Oh. Because oh. I'm, I'm dirty. No. Um, <laughs> all right, Chef John, you, you can get it cold, casserole. slice it in like slabs, and then fry that in cast oh, iron. Good. good stuff. All right, cowboy casserole. Mm. Okay. And what? again, it's, it's 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 a casserole. Uh -huh. So again, it's so you're getting some extra cheese on there. It's I like healthy. It. Green onions. A little bit of green onions. Sorry, I was trying to swallow that hot casserole. And then a little touch of sour cream, a little skosh sour cream right there on top. Cowboys love sour cream. Yep. You know that. All you right. know that. All right, Chef Greg. This is gonna be I'm going right here on the sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hot. I'm going to have to get some of that sour cream. See, I know it's going to be nuclear. Cheers to you guys. Mm. That smells amazing. Yeah. Mm. I know oh. why it's trending. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a win. <clears throat> but everything in here is delicious. Cheese, delicious. Tater tots, delicious. Wagyu. Wagyu. Delicious. You know what I'm saying? Cook on the Rectech. Yeah. Using the Texas blend, a mixture of mesquite and pecan cheese and crackers. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Greg. It's actually cheese and tater tots. 
Son of a gun. He's a dad joke away from getting it. <laughs> Almost um, got it. <laughs> it's uh, Academy Week. We're having a great time. Thank you to everyone who has ever participated in the Academy or who wants to participate in the Academy. Make sure we... Uh, do we have any spots left? We do. We have, we have a couple left. Yep. Ooh. But if you're if you're interested, we always have a wait list. You can shoot me an email, chefgreg at rectech.com. We'll get you on that wait list. And uh, yeah, be a good old time. TJ cooks some barbecue. For sure. All right, everybody. Make sure you follow Greg on social media at Chef. Greg Muller, make sure you follow Chef John, Chef John Pinnell. Make sure you follow me at BBQ D A D J O D Y Barbecue Dad Jody. I gotta spill it out. Yeah, you got. Spill I just got. To. They just don't yeah. know how to spell it. Um, <laughs> but from everybody here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we'll see you at, at the, the Rec Tech. Tech. Man, that's super casserole. Yeah. It came out great, oh, man. Casserole. Better than I thought. Like, for just sure.